co-chairs of the Jackson County Military Coalition, Doug Brinker and Darcy Herrera. Welcome to the show. Hey Bert. Thank you. Thank and, you and thank you for your service. Welcome. We have uh, coming up uh, an event that we're going to talk about, but first, what is the uh, Jackson County Military Coalition? Military Coalition started a little bit more than a year ago. November of 2020. In an attempt to reach not just the veteran, but their families from a whole health, whole community perspective, because we want to make sure that every veteran and their family needs are met and taken care of. Great. Well, thanks for taking care of uh, our veterans. Jackson has a lot of veterans. Our community has, has provided a lot uh, in the way of uh, military service to this country for e forever, ever since we've been here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your military service. I originally joined the Navy in 1981, right out of, the, right out of high school. Mm -hmm. Went aboard a couple of ships. I decommissioned one, commissioned another. So I am what they call a plank owner and a shellback. Okay. And then I got out of the Navy in 84, come home, joined the uh, Michigan Army National Guard's 1461st Transportation Unit here I remember in Jackson. that, yeah. I was in it for three years, got bored. 33 years old, you know. <laughs> Big, better things to do in life. And unfortunately, I got out was out for 10 years, they dangled that carrot of money over mm -hmm. my head and said, come on back. So I went back and then I deployed to Iraq in spring of 2004 where I suffered a near fatal staph infection in my leg from the sand and was medically retired in November of 04, come home. And ever since, for the last 19 years, I went to Jack Jackson Community College then obtained my associates in business and a marketing certificate, then went on to Eastern when I got my bachelor's in communication. And then just three years ago at 57, I completed my master's. Wow, that's great, congratulations. <laughs> what a, a great uh, record of accomplishment in your life. Uh, I've known you for many years and uh, I'm always amazed at uh, what, you, what, you've, what you pull off. Uh, and your son's in, in, in the he has now been out for three months. He works over at Kelly Imports as an auto technician. Cool. So he was down there in Camp Lejeune as a motor transport operator for four years. Oh, I know you're thrilled. Got, out, of, got out as a corporal. Fantastic. Uh, Darcy, were you in the military? I was not. Nope. I come from a long line of military service, though. Um, I can trace my lineage back to the American Revolution. Oh, so, my. yeah, I'm, uh, my son is a veteran. My brother-in-law is a veteran. Both my grandfathers were veterans. And so awesome. Well, thanks to your family for all that service. Thank you. So uh, we've all seen these billboards. We've seen the ads. Uh, suicide is one of the uh, leading killers of those of veterans mm -hmm. in our country. It's yes. horrible. Um, and you guys are working on something to um, help prevent that. Tell us about it. So we started the idea six months ago of we need to do something big in Jackson for to remember and make more people aware of the importance. So the, the team, the leadership team sat down and we came up with this ruck march. Ruck march. Now, ruck of course, march. you know what a ruck march is because you, you were probably on many. But what is a ruck march? A ruck consists of a backpack that a soldier carries filled with up to 70, 75 pounds of gear. Mm -hmm. Rucksack. We are not requiring Rucksack. that. We are not requiring <laughs> that. We're encouraging it, but we're not requiring it. Not what requiring. we want the, the participants in the communities to get a sense of what it feels like when a veteran carries around that many problems of life that leads to them completing mm -hmm. a suicide. And this is coming up next Saturday, the 9th. The 9th. And it's all, it starts at, at Keeley Park at the fairgrounds? Mm -hmm. Yes. What else uh, lined up for that day? Food trucks. Mm -hmm. We have several vendors that we're going to have. We're going to stop at Veterans Park. We have a stop at the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 109. And then we'll also be stopping at um, the Jackson Fraternal Order of Eagles. 
they are one of our sponsors. Um, the American Legion Riders Post 29 is mm -hmm. our major sponsor for this event. And then the Eagle Riders as well. We have several, several that have sponsored since then, Consumers Energy, American One. Um, All right, well, we'll learn more about the day, including the car show that follows, more about the uh, Ruck March and the coalition coming up. More with Darcy and Doug after these words. Doug Brinker and Darcy Herrera are with us from the Jackson County Military Coalition working on the first ever, and you hope first annual, yes. Ruck, yes. Ruck yes. March. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 5K. 5K. And it's next Saturday, the 9th. Yes. You want uh, veterans to participate? Everyone. Absolutely. If you can walk, you can participate. Is and even if you can't participate, even if you can't walk, mm -hmm. if you're in a scooter or whatever, mm -hmm. we want you to participate in some form. So there's no cost? No, it's free. Wow. So you're not, nope. you're, just, you're not raising money? Nope. Nope. No. We you're, have been totally funded by donations and then the poker runs that the uh, American Legion Post 29 mm -hmm. and the Eagle Riders have, have donated to us. Mm -hmm. For awareness about suicide awareness. prevention. Awareness, education, and hope. And, and remembrance. Yep. I, would, I would imagine, Doug, you, you, the people you served with that uh, have, have lost their lives at, yes. at, that, at suicide. So I'm dedicating this uh, four and a half weeks ago, a past post commander from Post 423 VFW in Ann Arbor, where I'm a past post commander of, Michael Horsch, major, um, overcome the demons. And the demons controlled his life since he lost his first and only son last year and he took his life in the VA parking lot. Oh no. So we're, we're dedicating the walk to him and a lot of my post members and auxiliary members will be participating in his memory, oh, that's so including sad. his sister. Yes. We, we don't know why. I, 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 nope. And those of us that haven't served, we can't imagine, but <clears throat> so, you almost lost your life yourself. There's yeah. PTSD. There's uh, a lot of reasons that play into that. So a lot of people don't know I'm, I'm a 24-year survivor of my first attempt, and now I work for LifeWays, the same agency that I once got treatment from. That's awesome. And you both work uh, we do. at LifeWays mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, are there uh, people that uh, you need volunteers and any help uh, putting this on? If anybody wants to show up and help, we will gladly put them to work. <laughs> we'll find something for them to do. We've, Have you we've found a lot of the, uh, support. Uh, the stigma uh, has changed uh, over the years? Slowly. Yeah. It's still there, but we, slowly. We never talked, no. ever talked about it before. No. And it's advocates like myself and thousands across Michigan, across the United States, that come together in different organizations for one goal, and that's to eradicate suicide out of, out of the world. This uh, rock, uh, we were talking during the break, uh, I went to um, Marine Corps uh, Camp Pendleton uh, a few years ago mm -hmm. and saw the, it's a pretty impressive, uh, what so soldiers uh, and Marines go through right. in training, and they load that, they put like bricks and cement blocks in those things. Mm -hmm. they, they jam it, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a test. It's a test, <laughs> yeah. a test of endurance. And you've seen uh, uh, the um, Tunnel to Towers, there's a lot of military mm -hmm. and, and first responders that will wear yes. a, a rucksack filled yep. with gear. And that's really what we're encouraging anyone that's physically able to mm -hmm. to do that is fill it up with whatever that will demonstrate a significant amount of weight because we want you to to really feel the true experience of carrying around a weight of problems. Mm -hmm. and, and for a lot of people that that it's going to be hard and we're going to have clinicians on site. Mm -hmm to help in that case. In case someone goes into a, a crisis, we will have staff. People could available. have a flashback while they're yeah, there. Correct. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
sign up uh, this QR code. You can sign up for free, That's and right. I'm sure you wouldn't mind if people just show up too. Absolutely. Just show up. Just show up. And then you've got friends in Grass Lake that are uh, putting on the car show to go along with us. Yes. Yes, our, our Grass Lake VFW American Legion partner is bringing their car show to the event as well, which will bring in plenty of attendees just okay. in that alone. Awesome. And, you know, the, the other part of this, Bart, is the, um, you know, not only being a two-time survivor, but the importance of working with Darcy and, and our leadership team, where the mayor is going to present a proclamation, sent State Representative Kathy Schmaltz, who's a great friend of mine, who believes in eradicating veteran suicide. Um, she'll be in attendance and a lot of other dignitaries. Good, great to see you both. Thanks for doing this Thank and thanks so for, much for having coming us. in today. Thank you. Thank you. From the Jackson County Military Coalition and the first annual RUC March, Doug Brinker and Darcy Herrera.